So in order to understand how scarcity and consumption are related, let's look at the way we consume in the 21st century, in our globalized world. We consume things in a symbolic way, because we don't consume them for their utility, for what they do for us, but we consume things because they make us look good, or because they represent a symbolic function. So think of all the clothes you have in your cupboard. There'll probably be plenty of them. Think of the number of pairs of shoes that you have. You couldn't argue that these things are just for utility, that you just have these clothes to hide your nakedness or to protect yourself against the cold. Because clothes make you look good, right? You have a certain style in your clothing. You express yourself through your clothing. And you show your identity through your clothing. So clothing has a whole number of functions, and only some of these functions have to do with what is practical, what is needed. In fact, in our current consumption, it's very, very difficult to distinguish the things that we actually need from the things which are luxury items and which we don't need, but which make us feel good, make us look good, and allow us to express ourselves. If you drink a certain glass of water, or if you order a certain kind of beer, or a certain kind of soft drink, that is also a brand. You're also expressing yourself through that consumption choice. And of course, you're also drinking because you're thirsty, and if you don't drink, you're going to die eventually. So water or fluids are a necessary requirement, but the kind of fluid that you drink is an expression of who you are. And it's also a luxury in a certain way, because we could just drink water and that would be fine. And so if you think about the things you consume every day, every week, every year, much of what we consume has this symbolic function. It's not just the clothes. Look at cars, right? There's all kinds of shapes of cars and all kinds of sizes and all kinds of prices. Now, if cars were just about mobility, then any car would just get us from A to B. It wouldn't matter what kind of car you're driving. And yet see how proud people are of their car, how they impress other people with their cars. You know, we all know the kind of people who drive really big cars to impress people, right? So you could see that also in mobility, some of it is practical. How do I get from A to B? And some of it is symbolic. And I think if you think that all the consumption in our lives, whether it's clothes or cars, or the holidays that you go on, or the kind of other stuff that you have in your house, or where you live, all these things have a symbolic element. And so it's really not about utility, but is how do we make sure that people have a sense that they can express themselves through their consumption. All of our consumption is symbolic, and that has an influence on solving this question of scarcity. Now the question I have for you is, Think of everything that you own and think of what the symbolic function of your possessions is.